Hello, Doomies, Doomheads, Doomers, Doom Troopers, and of course, my little Doomlings. That was a mouthful, but it hasn't quite been decided yet. I've posted a topic on the forum to what I can call you guys. Uh, like, the Yogscast have the Yogsnorts, uh, nearby has his nerves. Um, it's a good few options in there, and I thought I'd just try and save them all and draw attention to it. Uh, it's in the general section under... Uh, what do I call you? Now, if we zoom in, I've been doing a little bit of modifications to the provinces like I said I would. So we, we haven't completely descended into anarchy yet with this country. Uh, but we do have shameful display. <laughs> uh, that is uh, thanks to Zoo Panic Car. I don't think he intended it as province names, but it's decided it has been. Uh, Mr. Shiny, shippies! Which was a comment to when I finally got around to building the ships, but again, I don't think it was intended as a intended as a province name, but it's now there. Uh, Doc McKee, because you commented quite a bit, and you ha I don't believe you've made a suggestion, but we've got McKee now to finish off this island. You know, all the bits we have now have new names. Um, Milo Hector suggested Blackadder and Flash, and then because well, I had you know another space fair, I thought well let's add Baldrick. This is the Blackadder Island. And, you know, Baldrick's a backwards one with only a base tax 2. Blackadder, of course, outdoes him. Base tax 3, you know, he's obviously the smarter person. Then there's Lord Flashheart, who just trounces over all of them, you know, slaps his fire and calls him dandy. I don't really think that the slapping is going to come through on my microphone very well, because also before I hit my leg, I sort of used my arm, hit the armrest on the chair, so that didn't really work. Now, I'm pretty sure I added more. Let's see if I can't find him. Oh, this island here, at least this bit of it, is probably all going to be named after British victories. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to do actual British victories like British Dynamite suggested, or whether I'm going to go through and see what famous victories there are in this game's history. So, a lot of these... They're too small, really. I guess maybe I'll do that in America. Uh, so, like, a lot of the provinces will be new wherever we had a famous victory. Uh, but either way, now we actually have to worry about uh, getting the Navarans out of this war. Or just ending the war with them. And it's going to be just over a month before I have the diplomats that I need. And the first battle is going to be taking place here. So let's get time ready to be sped up and start it. Oh, the Hobbit has revolted. An unknown country has succeeded. Uh, spread of discoveries. Yay, we now know more about Africa, which we're not really invested in, but I might be going to soon. Oh, they're instantly trying to siege, so yeah, they're getting rid of the war score. Unknown country. Right, they're going to get there on the 27th. We'll get there on the 2nd. April, May. Right, guys, stop here. And my guess is they will pause. Salt crisis. Oh, God, lots of revolts. A peasant's war in Georgia. I don't care. We're having a worse one. Uh, Cadiz. Right, let's see if we can't sort this out. Are you guys actually hunting rebels? Oh, you are, but you've decided to just sit there and do sod all. Assault these bloody things. And don't I have an extra army down here? I guess not. Where's my navy for this area? I should have a navy round there, I believe. Oh, it's in Rome. Now, right, you come up here so we can start hunting them guys and you can probably go deal with England, who've invaded Ireland. I really think there should maybe be a ban on... In the game, a country shouldn't be able to arise unless it's in a revolt from you under the previous tag your country used. For instance, if I started off playing as Great Britain, sorry, England, and then I changed to Great Britain, England should be locked out unless I release it or, you know, it revolts from me. I don't see how it can revolt from, especially when it gets this pathetic stuff, Norway is invading the Canaries. <laughs> oh, England, you're in a sad state when my vassal Norway can destroy you. Oh, we do have another army, and he is running around killing things, so that's good. So that'll be that area sorted. You assault that. 
Are you on Hunt Rebels? No, but you are now. India stayed reasonably safe, which I like. Uh, let's see. Oh, we have all of our cores now. Lovely. i got to stop saying lovely so much. Any revolts down here yet? No, not really. That's good. And up here, you are on Hunt Rebels, aren't you guys, army guys? Mm, probably not. And I could do with you guys getting onto the island where there's trouble at the moment. And actually... Guys, merge up. I'll ignore you for now because only one of you. We'll pretend that you're a... Call that free. Take you to 10,000. And you guys actually... Now I can just tell... Tell you guys to split in half. Uh, one of you is going to patrol these two islands, so you go to display. I, I, I can't even do the bad Japanese accent, you know, the impression of TB in that situation, so... The other two can get on this boat. One of them's going to come here and have to deal with all of this, and then one of them's going to go up here and deal with that. Alright, and you are on Hunt Rebels, yes, so you now instantly move. You now instantly go and find someone else to kill. He's gone. Why haven't you moved? Come here. And ships. All right, he's just um, starting to go around the Iberian Peninsula now. They haven't decided to move on. I have a slight advantage in numbers and morale definitely, so we're going to go attack. Good. Battle's being won over here. How are we doing in Japan? Uh, one of them's got on the boat, but there wasn't room for both. Right, you drop off in bingo. That might be the one place that keeps its name. Bar, I'll leave the army myself. Come on, get off the boat. Right, from there, hunt rebels for me. You should be fine to kill everybody. Then I'll conquer them too. The merchants resist. Apparently... Citing distinguished with Great Britain's endless wars, the centuries of trade had decided to expel our merchants. That's not good, actually. I make a lot of money from that. Come on, get on the boat. Spread the discoveries. Don't care. Uh, people buying my people. One against a rebel, one against a rebel, one against a rebel. Good. You're going to come up and drop off here. Tell you to hunt rebels. And as soon as you land, I can tell you to hunt rebels. Alright, we won the battle. Where are they running to? Right, the place that they conquered from me, that's fine. We'll chase them down, kill them. We have a magistrate. Super peace, demand tribute. Might push it a little bit more just to you know, claim these bits of land. I think maybe once we've won the next battle, we can do that. Although we are running the risk. Oh no, we're revolting shippies! That's fine, should be dealt with. Uh, one against rebels in the Gev. Lost over here. Alright, but you've landed now, so we can tell you to hunt rebels. It's nice to see that it's not only us having to deal with rebels, and I think a lot of these rebels may be coming from... Uh, assault. Maybe coming from the other Japanese territories. Actually, no. Navara, Super Peace, Demand Tribute. The one that isn't my core. Because the cost and the infamy is the same, and I'll get that one free in a later war. Nothing else I'd want to take from them. Maybe a little bit of money. Yes, you don't value money at all, despite the fact that you have none. Navarra revoke, oh, revoke cause. Release nations. Aztecs. As one province, that's no good to me at all. That's fine. We'll send the offer and then that should be peace. Pause before someone can declare war on me. Okay. 
Now let's see. Create vassals. Syria is definitely coming out. Wherever the hell it is. It's a blue symbol. Ah, Syria. Definitely small enough to be re-annexed. Oh, and they don't get the ones that was held by rebels. Well, that's not good. That gave me less. Uh, Brittany, small enough. Is it clear of rebels? Oh, they don't have anything annexed, so that's fine. Yep. There you go, Brittany. Have some freedom. Create some more vassals. Uh, Fox. Something can burn. Or Garcony and burn. I have a core in Garcony, I have a core in burn. So that's fine. Yep, you can be released. Hello. Welcome, Fox, to the world, people. Normandine has three provinces. That's fine. Definitely have a core in there. Yes. Okay, do that. Uh, create some more vessels. Berry, that's fine. All these little frickers I'm having to release. Bar. Let's click on that for now. Another area. Yep, bar core and I have a core. The bar core here. I'm going to assume I have cores everywhere there. Oh, it was up here. Yeah, I definitely have a core up there. That's fine. I just need to get this low enough so I don't get this, this um, thingy vassals or whatever they were. Uh, champagne. Yes, let's release them again. Four provinces is fine. Oh, look at all this... And France is very expensive territory. Orleans, yep. Something smaller. Avenger, Avignon. Porto, Avenger. Yeah, it's fine. I do like how they don't have linked up provinces. Yeah, and they still have added ones that they didn't have originally. Uh, Toulouse is now just a tour, so that's fine to get rid of Toulouse. Isn't France a mess? Labrador, Picatore, Limousine. Yeah, I definitely have all of them in there. Let's go when released. Burgundy, French, Mez, Logarinth and below. Yes, yes, yes and yes, so Burgundy can be released. Uh, Delphine's a tour, and I definitely have both of them. And we're almost down to acceptable level of infamy. In fact, that might be low enough just to start letting it burn off. And we'll release having Young as well. Patchwork France. I think I automatically get rights of passage through all of them. Uh, 5.4 infamy is something that I can definitely deal with myself. I don't want to build a university anywhere. Well, guys, we have truce with them up until... 55. Five years. At which point we will be bringing them back into the fold. And I just realised I never started the timer. So I'm going to pause now. And I'll be back shortly. Well ladies and gentlemen. That is almost a perfect length for an episode. So as always I'd like to thank you for watching. Uh, but I will be saying goodbye. Goodbye.